And with that, the game begins proper. Now, if you wait on this screen for a bit... Every chapter transition, if you wait, you can get this original song. But we're not here for this song. We're here to keep going. We've got Bowsers to beat up. Oh, I'm a dead. My face hurts. He looks so peaceful and content. Everything went dark. Oh god, he is dead. Well, well game over. No more Mario games. Gonna have to punch out death here. <laughs> Gonna have to hammer that one out. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And these are the star spirits. These are... The things that Bowser beat up, beat up earlier <laughs> when he took the star rod. Well, we're just gonna have to make Mario even mightier, then! And you can tell he's the leader because he's old and he's got a big mustache. He, he's old! He clearly knows how things go around here. By the way, they don't say it, but at this point Mario was like pretty much almost dead, and if they hadn't come along, he would die. Well... So, yeah, you know. I think that little bit of, uh, star power kind of, you know, brought him back to life. It's a Goomba, we're doomed! We can only take two hits. <laughs> He's got a red shirt! He's dead! Pretty sure after that Bowser fight, we're at least small. <laughs> Shut up! All this references. <laughs> Quick, get a one up mushroom, I'll wake up then. There we go. Na -na 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 -na. Why are we so bright? Because we're supposed to stand out. I wonder if they have a star among them called Gang Star. <laughs> well, I mean, besides this sentence, that one explaining it and the one explaining where you need to go, so. I mean, I got that much, but still. All right, so climb up a mountain and we're good. All right, yeah, that sounds like fun. I think Mario just glows in the dark. <laughs> little little known fact. Huh? Well, what's going on? <laughs> like the way that texted that. It's like, I'm so happy to see you awake. I like how the P's are actually raised up a little bit, even though they're still lowercase. Yeah, you can see it with the Y's as well there. Yeah. So it looked like he was going, I'm so happy! <laughs> <laughs> happy, joy, P, nice to meet you, P. <laughs> I wonder if the red's supposed to be indicative of anything. This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toe Town. Death dice. Wait, hold on. They call it Goomba Village, but all who live here is this guy and a single family. Not, that's not exactly enough to call it a village. N not really. That's more of like a house. Yeah, that's just kind of somebody living out in the forest. Actually, what would you call that? Because I mean, there's more than a few I'd call, people. I call there. it a couple houses out in the forest. I almost want to say Hamlet, but I don't think that's the right word. Get on that, comments, if you don't mind. I actually want to—I actually want to think it's Hamlet's, but I'm not sure. I think you hit your head a little too hard there, Mario. Uh, just a quick thing: Shooting Star Summit is actually Star Hill, 
but due to Square Enix and, well, back then, Square. Yeah, Super uh, Mario RPG Star Hill. Yeah, uh, that's actually what it is. Uh, yeah. Due to their falling out with Nintendo, they had to change the name around. If you actually think about it, a lot of this game feels like what Super Mario RPG was, but what Nintendo would do with it. Yeah. If they had complete control over it. Yeah, t take the basic idea of Ma a Mario RPG. Give it to Square Enix and you get Super Mario RPG. Go... Uh, with Nintendo yeah, and give it... Give it to 100% Ninten of Nintendo, you get Paper Mario. Well, Intelligent System did that, but they work for Nintendo. Mm. Yeah, now I jump, uh, and I jump on the bed. <laughs> My head. And he'll oh. talk to you. Uh, talk to him again, and he'll basically tell you that anytime you feel, uh, get hurt, you can just come back here, talk to him, and he'll rest you up, and all your hit points will come up. Yay! And there's our stats and everything. Now, important to know... Just hit up on the C, either the C button, up, or if you're playing on something else, you have to put push up on your secondary control stick. You know, so. Im important to note is... Ogre has played and beaten this entire game before, so he knows what the crap he's doing. I have played uh, maybe the first quarter of the game. I've never actually beaten it, though. I mean, I know the story and everything, though, so don't worry about that. I know what happens, I just haven't done it myself. So yeah, we... Well, he knows what he's doing. I hope so. <laughs> A Goomba I'm... is Mario's biggest fan. Yeah, he's even named Goombario. Something here feels very wrong. This is Goombaria, I believe. Goombella? No, Goombaria. I think Goombella is the second game. Hmm. So those are the kids. This is a save block. All you have to do is hit it and... Boom, you save. Because you need to be told that. I'm assuming you've been playing games long enough to know what a save block is. <laughs> you, you hit it and you delete your game. <laughs> You know, I would not have expected that. I think it's... I, I believe that is irony. You hit the save block to save your game, then you ex and you delete it by accident. Get like four hours into a game. Holy crap, man, I gotta save. Game deleted. Well... I'm frickin' Mario, I'll just jump over that gate. It's not even a wall, it's just a gate. Alright, now we have to wait for that to go to happen, because... I could jump over that gate. It's the chest-high wall thing. And this is where we were. This is where we were dead. Down in our RPGs. Well, if they put up the fence higher, because, I mean, look at that. You just literally jump over it. It's and like the, there, and you this can't fence even... and this gate is just about as high, so... Well, it's like back there, you can't even jump over that, like... Small line of foliage. Foliage. Guma. How oh. did they like change their names as they live? The, the one thing I love because of the paper thing is the fact that when you enter a building. It all folds up like a storybook. I just jump over everything. Except for that window, that was weird. And this is Goompa. Goompa! Yeah. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I don't like our naming convention either. You gotta stick with it, alright? I'm assuming well, it, Bowser I'm, punched me really hard with lightning. You know, I'm gonna be honest, when I first played this game, I had no idea what a veranda was, and then I found out through this game. Learning things from video games. Pretty much how it works. We, we 
talk to everybody, so... Yay! Oh man, we're not trapped in here anymore. <laughs> You've been everywhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. That changes every Thursday. In fact, we're about ready for another change. Good, good. Thug, 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 thug. Think, like, what happens if, like, Bowser attacked this little town? <laughs> uh, the gate's broken, we can't leave. We're just stuck standing here while he smears us off the planet. Sorry. Stupid RPGs. <laughs> <laughs> and their conventions to go along with the story. You know, I've actually had the urge to play a good old JRPG lately. Which is weird, because I know I don't have the time to play a JRPG. Yeah, now we're out of here. And no, no ominous laughter will stop us. Dang it. Oh, This is bad. You just had to say something. Uh, it's almost like I've played this game before and I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, your end stinks. Uh... <laughs> Sort of did. You saw the little pink thing she was pulling out? That's from her broomstick, but still. This is actually Cammy's first appearance throughout the series. She only appears on the Paper Mario stuff. Which is weird, because she's such a, such an interesting character. <laughs> What's that weird flying thing? Quick, mm. throw one of the Goombas at her. <laughs> Yeah, it's an alright game. It's an alright name, I guess. You really came all the way here to tell me that? I mean, have you seen what we do? I mean, if... I don't know, if that's all you came here for, I kind of have things to do today, so if you don't mind... <laughs> The Goombas are just looking at her like they're just pissed at her. Man! And now we're He pissed. just fixed that! Sure, he's really livened up the place. Oh, so that's why it always changes. Bowser keeps changing the landscape. Oh. Oh my goodness. He has a computer and he's playing SimCity Mushroom Kingdom Edition. <laughs> And my gate? <laughs> like, no, just look at that. Look how Goombari is actually moving and he's so pissed off, he's just like, I can't move. I'm I back can't mad. do. No. No, can't do this. Again? I think this is one of the first times they've actually mentioned that. Hmm. I think Super Mario RPG did. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so our problem is that we gotta break this block. Hmm, I wonder how we're gonna do it. <gasps> oh man, a hammer. Hammer! Wait, then what were you using to fix the fence? A screwdriver? You win this round. <laughs> you know what the bigger question is? Hmm? How was he holding the tool? Oh my. Alright, now we gotta go get that hammer. But I like talking to everyone because they got a different dialogue. Can't be spending all day out here, though. Well, I'm glad you know her. This is the first time we've ever seen her. The brains behind Bowser. Well, considering Bowser, he needs the brains. Yeah. See, that's the one thing I like about Bowser in this game, is they actually make him a threat. I mean, he always kind of felt like that, but they actually make him a clear and present danger throughout the whole thing. There was a place here. 
Something's wrong. <laughs> it, it wasn't until he noticed that it finally falls down. Yeah. Can't quite put my finger on it, but something feels wrong. Well, that was an adventure and a half. Oh, he's gonna have to fix the crap out of that. Man! Oh! Well, at least he's alright. I was stuck in the air, too. Gravity didn't take effect until I noticed it. Same thing happened the same thing happened to you, Mario. Man. Now we gotta look places. We have to go beat up some hammer bros. <laughs> Hey, why are you following me? Get away. Get away from me. Well, this is the only place we can go, so we might as well look. It looks like a dad. That looked kind of like a sign. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, yeah, that actually does. That is weird. That's not a hammer, that's a sign. What have you been building with? <laughs> no wonder it's taking you so long to fix that thing. And now we get this new little thing that we can look back, look around these bushes and hit this button, and we can find stuff. Oh man, money. There's actually a few things hidden back here. Mostly coins, just kind of get us started. Uh, there's something else hidden back here besides the hammer, which we're going to want to get. And we can jump and hit the blocks because it's Mario. Man, that block. Yeah, we found the hammer. And now we can use the hammer attack in the menu, so there's some variety. You know, on the nature of Bowser, which you mentioned previously, how he's actually a threat in this game. That is a weird looking bush sitting over there. Eat it, block. But I rather, I like that too, and that's something that any more Bowser is mostly portrayed as being more comic relief. Even if he's the villain, he's really just a really lighthearted. There we go. It's really just a big lighthearted event. We got the dolly, an adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Got the hair color wrong, though. <laughs> okay, it looks more like a Princess of Daisy, but they had to change it for copyright reasons. And I'm not actually super fond of that they make Bowser into this, like, laughably comedic thing. Hmm, I wonder if he's trying to tell us to look around for lost items so we can hmm. get rewards out of them. I like yeah, that. get those cool ones. I, I like that. I'm gonna do us a favor, and I'm gonna save here because we hey. got something coming up. Yeah, I like that. When Bowser is a genuine threat, and he is just the giant, freaking danger, scary monster that he is. You want to keep going, or you want to stop here? Because we still got to wait for the prologue to go. Um. We, I want to say we could go a couple, like five minutes longer. But it's it's gonna be okay. Yeah, is there something gonna be we gonna get involved in something here? Yeah, we're gonna get involved All in right. a little bit here, so. So that will be it then for the first update of Paper Mario. Okay, we've gotten a uh we pretty much got screwed over by Bowser. And we, we got a hammer. We got a hammer, and now we're off to save the world, so until next time everyone.